I'm not afraid of heights, so um, shouldn't be a problem. Oh, it's a nice view. Rising from the Kalang River is a haven for events. This is the best seat in the house. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> I'm now standing at the top of the world's largest free-spanning dome structure. Spanning a diameter of 310 metres, it can fit not one, but almost four Airbus A380s lined up from wing to wing. But the real question is... Oh... What are we doing here? When I was an architecture student, Singapore was still a young nation. 20 years later, I'm clearly still not an architect, but Singapore has transformed. From low-rise buildings to gleaming skyscrapers, the relentless pulse of progress keeps the Singapore skyline ever-changing. I'm here to meet the people who are building and shaping our built environment. We're doing a routine check to ensure that the roof is in tip-top condition. I've come prepared. I've got my binoculars. What exactly are we looking out for? Loose pictures and infrastructures that may have been degraded. How long does it normally take? It will take a few weeks. few weeks? What's that? Is that a drone? Yep, it's a drone. So by using drone, it will only take us a day. Huh? Then we come up for what? For the view lah. OK. Yeah, nice lah, nice lah. The Singapore Sports Hub is a 35-hectare precinct comprising the National Stadium, OCBC Aquatic Centre, Kalang Wave Mall and other facilities. In its earlier years, workers had to conduct regular checks with manual sweeps across the compound to ensure that facility and equipment issues were detected, reported and addressed. Ah, so you are the drone operator, right? I'm the drone pilot. Oh, drone pilot, I'm so sorry. Mengkun, right? That's correct. Mengkun is CNW Services resident drone pilot and senior administrative assistant. Oh, there it is, coming back. Hi, drone! New technology, like drones, are making facilities management roles more exciting with higher value jobs. Although Mengkun was first hired for an administrative role, he later took a course and obtained a drone pilot license. Maybe you can put the drone over there. Couldn't you have chosen like a cooler place? <laughs> we will need to set the flight path so that the drone will automatically fly and capture the images. What are we looking at today? We are looking at a portion of the trust from the National Stadium. Okay, are we ready for takeoff? Fasten your seat belts. Please stand back. So now I'm not controlling the flight and it will just auto basically fly. Oh, it's taking photos. It sounds like paparazzi. <laughs> yes. So these are the images? Yes, it will take about 200 plus photos. But if you want to take the whole National Stadium, it may be over thousands of photos. That's a lot of information. That's almost information overload. Do you manually check every single photo? Without the AI technology, we will take about two weeks or longer. My goodness. However, now we will take about three days. Let me show you how we use AI to detect the defects. While waiting for the AI to work its magic, I'm travelling to the heart of the Central Business District to see how technology is transforming other aspects of facilities management. If you think about it, the lifespan of a building can extend to 50 years or even more, especially if it's well-maintained. With 4,600 high-rise buildings in Singapore, with 200 of them classified as skyscrapers, the responsibility of maintaining the structural integrity and smooth functioning of these facilities is immense. Sorry to be a bother, but could you please move? I'm gonna go that way, so you turn around and go that way too. One of Singapore's tallest buildings, the 66-storey Republic Plaza stands at an impressive 280 metres. From security patrolling to keeping track of washroom cleanliness, the building management team relies on technology such as robots and IoT sensors to manage their building facilities. So this is the control center where you can see everything. I don't understand anything. This is DigiHub, the dashboard for the information that you need. 
Zuhao is a digital specialist. He takes care of over 20 properties across Singapore through the use of DigiHub, a digital system developed by CBM, the FM subsidiary of property giant City Developments Limited. She put all these multi-story properties to look after, say 20 of them. So 20 floors times 20, that's just a lot of floors, right? And imagine each floor have almost 10 to 20 equipment. So thousands of equipment units that we need to handle every day, every month and every year. This is very time consuming, but with DigiHub, AI prediction and all the sensors with the data collected, we can easily identify which are the specific units that need investigation. So mm. the information you see now is real-life data. CDL has installed almost 2,000 sensors across six of its commercial properties, including Republic Plaza, with many more to follow. I see failure prediction. What's all that? What you see now is what the AI machine is learning. The IoT sensor captures the data and understand that there is some things that we need to investigate. Chiller 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 all have alarms going off right now. Yes, correct. Currently, we are doing maintenance. Ah, right. Okay, okay. I get it. With this DigiHub, my manpower no need to go down and we can do everything by looking at the information. Just narrow down to the equipment with alert or alarm status and we just send the people to do the investigation. I can see how your workloads become a lot more efficient. With data-powered insight and foresight, companies are transforming building maintenance for a sustainable and resilient future. And when it comes to the world's largest free-spanning dome, digital tools are a game-changer. Mengun, how's the process coming along? I've uploaded the 200 plus photos into the online cloud platform. You, you just AI to digest the information. That's why you come into the picture, right? Yep, absolutely. Basically, the novelty of this platform is it's intelligent enough to sieve through these hundreds of images, identify faults, potential falling objects, and present it in a, a very intuitive manner where the property manager or even the facilities manager is able to digest this information. How did it detect defects? You can see here, given the white shots, we could actually focus on one here. The AI has actually identified this point to be a potential spot for water ponding. By alluding to such potential failure points, maintenance and operations teams, they can actually focus on spot repair works. That's insane, you know. The National Stadium is so huge that even you take like a teeny weeny portion of it, there's still a lot of space, a lot of surfaces and structures to scan. With now the technology, it actually saves us a lot of time. I can see how it would really help you work. I'm impressed. I really am. Smart systems, AI, digitalization, and automation are not fleeting trends. Look at how the drones cut down the time for the main coons of the industry to assess potential problems on the roof and building facades. At the same time, the adoption of smart systems is upskilling the workforce, creating new roles for digital specialists like Zihao. With these smart tools, information is available at the tap of an app, allowing problems to be fixed even before they occur. Whatever is happening in the facilities management sector is transformative, changing not only the way buildings are maintained, but also shaping the future of the industry.